when did you realize the first time that Diana had a eating disorder? Um, I don't think I could say a particular time, but uh, uh, it dawned on me that, that um, I mean, my relationship with food is, some would say unhealthy, but it's pretty straightforward. I like it. Uh, the more, the more, the, the more the merrier. Um, and, uh, you know, being royal, one of the um, advantages, I suppose, is that, that you do get to uh, eat some very nice meals. You also have to eat kind of on duty. You have to eat some strange things in strange countries for good diplomatic reasons. Um, but, uh, Diana, as she ultimately, I think, very bravely admitted, um, had a relationship with food which was to do with, uh, I think, uh, as she described it herself, her wish to be able to dissolve, um, to, uh, to disappear. Um, it's a, perhaps a little complicated, and I'm no psychiatrist, but she felt that she was an outsider. She had felt that way, I think, as a young girl, and she uh, certainly still did as a princess. And she turned that to an advantage. She said to me, one of the reasons I can um, talk to people who are in great need, uh, who are suffering great hardship, who are excluded, is that I'm one of them, in the sense that I'm an outsider. And this was why, with her charity work, she avoided the traditional royal route of predictable, conventional, time-honored, rather safe, not to say slightly boring charity work, but started to do some really very challenging stuff. AIDS, in this city, in 1989, we went to the Harlem Hospital Center, and she went to the AIDS unit there and picked up a little African-American baby dying of AIDS. And this was the first time the hospital director told me this was the first time anybody in public life in the United States had mentioned AIDS. So from AIDS, she then moved on to addiction, uh, homelessness, mental illness, domestic violence, um, leprosy. None of the easy stuff, all the challenging subjects, because yes, she felt uh, an affinity with people who were excluded on the outside, but she also knew that because of her profile, she was able to recycle um, what was a publicly unhappy life into benefit for others who would not otherwise attract anything like the same public interest. 